Hello, very good morning friends. Welcome to uh, the lecture of diuretics in treatment of hypervolemia induced hypertension. Myself, Dr. C. R. Patil, Professor, Department of Pharmacology, R. C. Patil Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Shirpur. Friends, the question is what is meant by hypervolemia? Hypervolemia is known as overload of fluid in our body and this is uh, because water is retained in our body due to some reasons and this then leads to increased pressure of fluid on all blood vessels means from within the blood vessel there will be increased pressure of blood on the blood vessel wall okay? this is uh, what we call as hypertension and accumulation of fluid in body we call as hypervolemia if we see what are consequences of this hypervolemia then hypervolemia affects all the tissues in our body see mainly 3% of the total blood volume leaves the heart each time okay, when the heart beats and then with this beating of heart there is circulation of blood throughout our body now if there is increase in pressure of blood capillary pressure if it is if it increases then it creates tension on this and then all blood vessels get inflated and then if suppose this volume goes beyond the capacity of blood vessels then person suffers from hypertension this creates pressure on the arteries and veins of our body they become thick and per further person starts suffering from blood pressure it affects all our body organs including extremities kidney heart liver and all our body organs now in this particular condition there are various reasons which will be leading to hypervolemia like even if suppose sodium consumption is increased that causes hypervolemia <coughs> if high salt containing diet like fast food is eaten that too can lead to hypervolemia then injectables like uh, saline they can lead to hypervolemia and if suppose body's fluid balance is affected that too is a reason of hypervolemia there are major causes like heart failure renal failure liver failure all these major organs are handling body fluid in our body and if their functioning is affected it can lead to hypervolemia now because of hypervolemia many consequences occur like tachycardia heart starts beating faster bounding pulse this is because of increased pressure of blood on our blood vessels arthropnea means difficulty in breathing dyspnea difficulty in breathing mental confusion hypertension muscle weakness tachypnea tachypnea means rapid breathing so if suppose a person suffers from hypertension because of hypervolemia in his case the simplest treatment is diuretics okay now before going to diuretics let us see why actually there is problem of blood pressure because of hypervolemia our heart pumps out equal amount of blood when it beats each time okay? and that is called as cardiac output so total amount of blood that is going out of heart which will be creating pressure on arteries is calculated by multiplying the heart rate by cardiac output okay if heart rate increases cardiac output increases that will be leading to blood pressure or if suppose cardiac output increases rate increases that will be leading to hypertension okay? so if body fluid is increased obviously heart will be suffering more from increased pressure cardiac output will be increased and then this will be leading to increased pressure of blood on kidney blood vessels liver circulation eyes brain and all our body parts so this is how blood pressure affects our body and if it is associated with hypervolemia only treatment is diuretics now there are different classes of diuretics we are not going in detail of them but then diuretics are the agents which will be reducing sodium concentration in our body they will be causing active active excretion of sodium and water from our body and that is the reason why they will be relieving hypervolemia 
okay this is function of uh, diuretics where this is nephron and each diuretic has capacity to increase excretion of water from kidneys along with sodium potassium chloride ions okay so overall thing is diuretics will be increasing output of or excretion of water and electrolytes from our body and that will be leading to reduced hypertension reduction in blood pressure it will become normal again this is how diuretics are used in hypovolemia induced hypertension thank you